Today we're going to have a look at the Caterpillar 735 Arctic truck with the 1228 KTEC scraper on the back. So this is just a standard 424 horsepower truck um, towing a 28 yard scraper. We take the tipping body off the back of the truck and incorporate this platform kit so you've got easy access to hook and unhook the truck. Incorporated is a filter kit so that we can eliminate any hydraulic issues between the cat and the scraper. It filters it in and filters it out. So we put these fenders on the truck stop any debris getting flung forward or backwards and just to contain all that material around the wheel like a standard mudguard. With the hitch there's two quick couplers to hook up the scraper so there's a pressure and return line, a case drain and then there's a grease line to be hooked up. It's quite simple it only takes five to ten minutes and you can have the scraper hooked up to this truck and away you go. So on the front of this truck there's a swivel ball on the articulation and that's one point that needs to be greased every day. After that you have the ADT neck this truck is connected via that swivel, comes down to the main trailing arms. With the trailing arms, we've got the lift cylinders on the front here. These lift cylinders have got a cushion port in the middle that allows it to have suspension. So anytime the truck is moving and the cutting edge is over six inches off the ground, it's automatically got suspension. We utilise the reverse camera on these trucks so that we're able to see our cutting edge at all times while operating. We can convert that so that it's always on the main screen on the dash and you can see exactly where your cutting edge is at all times. One of the main features for this truck is the three-piece cutting edge. The three-piece cutting edge, as you'll see underneath, there's a six-foot stinger in the middle. That six-foot stinger is the main primary loading function of the whole bowl. Uh, as long as it's got a good stinger, it'll load with no problems at all. There's three types of edges for the KTEC scraper. A square edge, an extended stinger, or a serrated stinger for all different applications. Also with the 1228 scraper, it's got a very large apron opening. It allows the material to go in, but even better, it allows all that heavy material to come back out. Even if it's wet or loose, it's all got to come out that large apron opening. With all mine compliance these days, we need to make sure we've got safety features, like our apron locking pins. We've also got a lift locking mechanism as well to allow the machine to be locked out and the operator can get in there and change cutting edges with the ease and safety of the machine not being able to come down and restrict their access. Any trimble circuit is already integrated into the KTEC system. All we need to do is put a mast and a receiver on there and the KTEC can take over for full height control. All pivot points throughout the machine, whether it's the cylinders, the trailing arms, the rod ends, they've all got nylon greaseless bushing in them. So they're good for the 2,000 plus hours. You don't need any maintenance, don't need to be greased. You just need to keep an eye on them and make sure they're still wearing well. So the 1228 comes with an ejector rack extension. This extension can be adjusted and laid back so that you can swing an excavator arm over the top and top load it with ease and keep your centre of gravity very low. Across the rear of the scraper, we've got the four tyres. They're all in fixed configuration and give us very high flotation for those softer or wetter conditions in sand or mud or in the swampy soils. Uh, allows us to float across there and get high capacities without sinking in the mud. These 1228s, you've got the four wheel bearings that need to be greased once every 500 hours. At times you need these rear mud scrapers to ensure that you don't get bound up with too much material. Along with the mud scrapers, We've got a rock pick there to ensure you don't get any rocks stuck between them. At the back of the 1228 scrapers, we've got the tail lights, brake lights, and indicators as well. At the rear of all our scrapers, we've got a push bar so that if you're running them in single or tandem, up a hill, down a hill, we can push to assist load them if it's necessary. We'll just go inside the truck to see what we incorporate in there with the KTEC fit up. The KTEC joystick does the functions of up and down, open and close your apron, and eject as well. It's also got the auto GPS function buttons on the top and the lead to the rear switch. Also with the truck fit up, we add the KTEC console that allows you to see the loads per day, the system hours and diagnostics information as well. This is a CAT 735 truck with a KTEC 1228 scraper on the back. If you need any more information about this, come and see us at Dom Distribution.